we were talking about the use of the N-word in pop culture. It's always been a sensitive su subject. And now a word that came from such a negative time and place has unfortunately made it into, you know, so many people's common vocabulary. And sometimes it's even used as a term of endearment. Yeah, for parents, what happens when you hear your child using that word, repeating a lyric of a song? Jay Dow sat down with one family to get their take on the word. Like so many other teenagers, 13-year-old Cornell leads a double life. We're not talking about anything criminal, but you'd better believe some of the language he uses with his friends is not allowed inside his parents' Seagate Brooklyn home. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Especially when it comes to one single hot-button word, the N-word. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. In today's biggest hits, its spelling ends with I-G-G-A. That's how we'll refer to the term that originated as a racial slur, but has since evolved in many circles as a term of endearment. These days now it's like fine for everybody to say it. My friend, he's um, Chinese and he says it, and my other part of and friends, yeah, they say it also. Do you ever use it? Hell no. Why? Um, Why? Because of the history of that word with slavery. Him. as a slur and used in a friendlier way. It's also in the music they listen to. Like sounds like that. Like My mom will tell me like to not say those words like to like censor it out. She doesn't care whether it's G-G-A or G-G-E-R. She just doesn't like the word. It's a delicate balance for Cornell's mother, Allison Graham. She says her own multi-ethnic background, mm -hmm. black, Italian, and Puerto Rican, helps her navigate those difficult conversations. Okay, so then why is it okay for you to sing it in a song, but when they called you that, you got so offended by it? Hip-hop journalist Sean Malcolm says it's a double standard. When you talk to an artist, they're going to use freedom of speech, and, you know, I totally understand that. We asked him to play the uncensored version of one of his favorite songs in front of his mother. Uncomfortable listening to the song in front of mom? Really uncomfortable. Why? It's not cool. That's kind yeah. of interesting, yeah. right? It's, it's not cool when mom's in the room. Mm -hmm. When she's not in the room, it's fine. It's very interesting the way that, uh, that kids are looking at this issue and, and kids that don't really understand, you know, the, the real meanings and, and the roots of that word. You know, this topic, I know, has a lot of you talking as well on our Facebook page. Yeah, we want to know if there is an ever, is there an ever appropriate time to use the N-word? And here's what some of you were saying this morning. Uh, Janice says, what brothers me, bothers me, excuse me, is when African-American people hear white people use the word, uh, they get upset, but find it perfectly normal for themselves and other minorities to use it amongst each each other. Hmm. Diane says it's only appropriate when black history is being taught in how the word was used back in slavery time, period. Jermaine says people can say whatever they want. It does not bother me. I've been called worse. Barbara says yes, you can use it in an intellectual discussion on why it's a problem, but aside from that, I guess not. All right, 736. Coming up